is the Hoover Dam. At the time of its construction, this was the world's largest concrete structure that had ever been built. Even today, roughly 80 years later, it takes your breath away. The Hoover Dam is like nothing built before it. Weighing in at 6.6 million tons of concrete, this was an unparalleled engineering marvel. The dam harnesses the power locked within the mighty Colorado River. The biggest problem and the biggest challenge was one of sheer scale. The extreme heat in the Southwest makes building a structure as big as the Hoover Dam extremely difficult. So what I have here is cement as well as water. And these are really the two main active ingredients in the curing process. Now, before it really starts to cure, let's quickly check the temperature. Before I dipped it into the concrete, the thermometer was already reading 44 degrees Celsius. Gives you an idea of how hot it is here. It takes just half an hour for the temperature of the mix to reach its peak at 155 degrees Fahrenheit. If they poured all of the Hoover Dam's concrete in one go, it would take 125 years for it to cool and cure, meaning uneven setting and potentially catastrophic cracking. So Frank Crow, nicknamed here on the site Hurry Up Crow, came up with an ingenious method for cooling the concrete to help it cure faster. The solution was to pass extremely cold water through one inch pipes. And the amazing thing is we can actually still see evidence of those pipes here. In 1931, thousands of workers began building the Hoover Dam using gigantic blocks, cooling the concrete with ice water produced by a refrigeration plant. It worked perfectly. The whole job was finished two years ahead of schedule. This is Lake Mead. When the dam was erected, it became the world's largest man-made lake. At full capacity, they say, the volume of water could cover the state of Connecticut with 10 feet of water. As an engineer, this is an incredible sight to see. 